We're with a bit of a horse, Michael Frederick, maybe from screaming so much. How are you feeling right now? Yeah, awesome. Um, honestly, the game's kind of a blur now, but um, yeah, feeling un unbelievable. Um, can't believe we got the win. So yeah, pretty happy. The atmosphere was amazing. How much did that help you guys get it over the line? Yeah, big time. I think um, when we kicked maybe our second goal, um, I think the boys got up and about, the crowd started getting up and about. Um, a few fans probably thought it might have been a long day ahead, but um, yeah, we stuck at it and pressured them a lot. And um, yeah, I guess that got us the result that um, that shows. It's big that second goal came from Andy. He's been our star all year and he's the one who was one of the ones who triggered the comeback. Mm, yeah, um, Andy's work rate and just contest stuff has been awesome all year, just like everyone's seen, and um, that's just something he works on all the time. It's, it's not something that's just happened overnight, but, um, yeah, as soon as he kicked that and all the boys got up and about, we sort of knew that we were coming, and um, the game, the way we wanted to play, was coming together. We knew it wasn't going to be perfect all the time, but, yeah, it was awesome. Small forwards really got to work, had some really big tackles, especially yours that set up Sonny. Yeah, um, that was our focus in the... Um, second half, just pressure, um, coming through the front in our midfield and yeah, just getting to the fall of the ball and pressuring um, the dogs' backs and yeah, I guess that got us good looks going forward and yeah, I guess um, if it's not goals and it's tackles and just pressure and um, yeah, we appreciate tackles as much as goals. How did you approach that comeback mentally because it went from, you know, nothing to lose to hang on, we've got to defend the lead here now? Yeah, um, after half time, we got told um, that we need to play to win, and that's been um, something that uh, JG implemented when he coached us in the uh, first derby. And yeah, we just kept reiterating that throughout the quarters. And um, yeah, I guess we had the play to win mindset, and um, that drove us a lot. And I guess backed each other in, and the game slowly opened up a bit more, and there was a bit more space to use the ball and play the way we like to play. So um, yeah, that got us the result that happened at the end there. I'm sure you want to shout out a few teammates who impressed you out there. Um, Caleb impressed me, um, Andy, Switter and Shooter's pressure up forward and um, yeah, Sonny getting on the scoreboard as well as pressuring um, and Griff, uh, his contest work up forward is unreal, brings the ball to ground and uh, either wins or tries a half every contest and that's been awesome for us when he's been playing forward. So important to have Switter back, I don't think you, Shoots, Schultz or Switter kicked a goal today but you're all very important. Yeah, um, we feel um, if it's not on the scoreboard then um, yeah, it's our tackling pressure and I felt like as a uh, small forward group, we were pretty connected and um, generally a few, few of the boys, uh, you know, you might get down because you're not um, hitting the scoreboard, but as long as you're putting pressure on or you feel like you're getting involved or um, yeah, staying on your toes defensively and in attack and um, using each other and connecting well, then uh, I think that, that holds us really well mentally on the field. I know there's a mantra to reset after you make a mistake. Yeah. And Jai Amos really did that really well. He bounced back. And oh, gee whiz, didn't effort. he? Um, that was awesome to see. Um, yeah, hit the post from the top of the goal square. But straight after, all the boys got to him and just said, you know, dial in, forget about that and worry about um, what's what's in front of you. Um, don't think too far ahead, just stay in the present. And yeah, I think he did that really well. A couple of big goals in his second game in a final. It just shows what, what he could be, where he could go. Yeah, uh, it's awesome to see, especially firsthand at training. Um, He's got an unbelievable kick on him. Sometimes I do goal kicking with him, and uh, he sort of looks a little bit casual. Not too much of a, uh, not too much momentum in his run up, but he knows what he's doing, and that's his routine, and it, and it works. So it's good to see. Finally, Optus is a pretty amazing place with 40,000 fans in there. What was it like with 60? Yeah, it was amazing. Um, I think, I think it might have been when Jai kicked one of the goals in the last quarter. Um, they started getting up and about, and I asked him um, how much he enjoyed it and if he took it in, and he did. And um, yeah, that's what you play footy for growing up, you know, you want to play in front of big crowds and want to play finals and hopefully make it all the way to the end of September and um, yeah, I guess this is a starting stone for us. If you're not watching the game, you can almost tell when you have the ball because it just gets louder as well. <laughs> yeah, um, you can certainly hear it. Uh, it was pretty good, I guess. Um, I get, uh, yeah, I don't know, like a few times this year, it probably hasn't happened too much, but yeah, I felt like yeah, I was getting on the outside of my man and um, yeah, just trying and using the footy and yeah, it wasn't too bad at all. <laughs> and Collingwood next week? Yeah, um, big game. All, we've had massive games in the second half of the season and um, no better way to go out to the G and um, yeah, show what we've got against Collingwood. So yeah, the boys are looking forward to it.